All right, what's going on YouTube? It's X Chopper, and this is going to be a no-nonsense guide on how to download and install mods for Master Chief Collection on PC. So the first step is that you need to find the mod and download it. So I like using nexusmods.com. I have a link in the description that will bring you right to the Master Chief Collection page, so consider using that link. And you need to make an account in order to download anything, so make an account, it's not hard. Once you're done making an account, you're free to download some mods. So the problem is older mods aren't compatible anymore because of updates to Master Chief Collection. So what you want to do, I recommend, is go to Sort By right here and change it to Date Published. And now it'll show you mods, the most recent mod uploaded, and then in chronological order. So you can see there's a lot of mods here. So you just got to find one that you want to mess around with. So for the sake of example, let's try the Chevrolet Tahoe mod. So you can see it shows you all the mods, it tells you about it. So what you want to do is you want to either click manual download or go to files. So for this mod, it's a perfect example. This mod has tag files for if you're a modder with the mod tools and wanted to use the vehicle in your own mods. But that's not really what we want. We want the map file. This is how you can just install the map file and play with the mod without having to use any mod tools or anything. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do manual download and unless you're a premium member you want to hit slow download it's really not that slow but you want to click slow download so you don't have to pay for mods and then your mod will begin downloading all right so once the mod is done downloading what you want to do is show in folder you want to extract to so you can get it in a folder like this. So then boom. So here's the mod. This is the file we need to install. So this is what we got to do. So now that we have the modded file right here, what you want to do is right click Halo Master Chief Collection, manage, and then browse local files. Now it's going to show you the files for Master Chief. So now depending on like which game, if it's a Halo 3 mod or a Halo 2 mod, you would choose the right folder. So this is a Halo 3 mod. So we're going to go here. And then you want to go to Maps. So you're going to notice here's the normal file, 120 Halo. And we want to replace this with the modded file that we just downloaded. So what you want to do, of course you could just drag and drop it in. But you want to make sure you create a backup of this first. So what you're going to want to do, rename. Hit the right arrow key and then just add the word Backup. You could write whatever you want, but it's just to know that this is a backup. So then what you want to do, copy the mod and then paste it right in. So now we got the modded file and then the backup. Now to uninstall the mod, it's quite simple. You would delete the modded file you just put in and then rename this and just remove backup. So it's 120 underscore halo dot map. So that's basically it. Anytime you download a map, it could be any of these files. It depends on what file the mod creator uses. You rename the official one to backup and then drag and drop the modded one right in. And it's simple as that. So now what you want to do is play Master Chief Collection with anti-cheat disabled. That's very important. Anti-cheat disabled and then you hit play. So something that's important to keep in mind, some of these mods will tell you in the description of the mod what map you need to load in order to play the mod. This one's pretty easy because it says Warthog Run, so you know it's going to be on the last mission of the campaign. But sometimes it won't tell you what map you need to load. So a helpful website I'm going to have in the description is this right here where this nice gentleman made a nice post that tells you what file name is for what mission. So as an example, you could see we just downloaded 120 underscore Halo. So that's the mission Halo. Say you have to download a mod and the file is for shrine.map. That's sand trap. So it's just nice to have. This is a good page to bookmark. I'll have it linked in the description. So now that you have the mod installed, you basically just want to load the map that the file is associated to. So this is for the mission Halo. So you just want to go to the mission. Uh, to this mod, for example, it's best to start at Rally Point Bravo so you can get to the end where the Warthog run is. 
most of the time you could just start from rally point alpha unless the mod says otherwise so you could just do whatever difficulty skulls don't matter and then you just hit start and if you installed it properly which you should have if you followed this guide the mod will work just fine so let's see if there's a chevy tahoe on this mission all right let's see if the warthog looks like a chevy tahoe we are approaching There, Look at that. Johnson's Warthog. You mean John Sh Johnson's Chevy? <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. If you have any questions or you can't figure it out, consider joining my Discord. I'll have the link in the description. That Discord, you could get in contact with me about anything. Or if you want to try to play some mods with other people in the community. Or if you want to be a part of some of my future play sessions I'm planning on hosting. So I definitely recommend joining the Discord. But yeah, have fun with Halo mods. It's a very good time. And look at that, there's grunts in the, the Chevy. It's hilarious. Come on, Spartan. Go, go, All right. go. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and enjoy the Halo mods. Look at, they're all friendly.